Hello, so in this video I'll show you how to get um, your key matched to, uh, to, to the locks on your uh, door handle so if you replaced your ignition uh, switch barrel like I did uh, then it's not matching to the door handles on your door uh, it's quite simple really so I'll just show you how to do it uh, so obviously you'll have to take the door handle off first so you undo the two bolts that hold it here so there's one here and another here and then you just sort of wiggle it to get it out. It can be a bit of a pain sometimes. That's it. Now let me just show you. So what you'll need for this job is like a small pin, uh, something like this. Um, then some nose nose pliers. I'm using um, water pump uh, big pliers as well and a hammer but you don't really need a hammer I'll show you why why I'm using a hammer as well okay so let me just show you uh, the main principle so this key does fit in but it doesn't twist as you can see so we need it matched and um, the cylinder locking barrel is basically this small unit here and it's held in place by this pin that's here so what we'll use to get the pin out is uh, I'll, I'll position the handle like this and then um, that small pin uh, you can use a nail for this as well but make sure it's not any thicker than the pin that's already in the cylinder so that you don't damage damage the the hole that's in there and I'm just going to use a hammer gently to get the pin out That's the pin, so make sure you don't lose it. Now as we take this off, this just comes out. That's the fitting, so you don't put it in the wrong way. And there's a spring here. And be careful when you take that off, uh, so it doesn't jump out and you don't lose it somewhere. So carefully take it off. And then remember how it went on there. So it, it, there's quite a lot of tension on there and it can be a pain to put it back in. So basically, if you when you put it back in, if you position this, if you fix that end, and then you just tension this. So I'll show you when, when putting it all back together. So that's the spring. And now the cylinder just pops out. There's some grease on it, which is good. Now the, the the way this works is uh, as you put the uh, key in, it's meant to hide all the pins so that it's flush. As you see, this pin is sticking out, so that's what's preventing it from turning inside. So we'll have to take all all these pins that are in here out and put them back in in a way that when you put the key in, it doesn't uh, it doesn't. Uh, none of the pins are sticking out and the pins in there just come out easy with the nose plier and the hole that's in the in this here in the pin that's where the key goes through and then all the pins have different uh, size uh, you know of this part so when you take them all out you can compare them, see for example this one has this part a bit shallower compared to this one. I'm not sure how you, well you can see it on the video, but that's the difference anyway. And the, and the pins in there are held uh, by a couple of very very tiny, uh, tiny springs, so make sure you don't lose those as well. And now It's, now it's pretty much just trial and error so you put the pin in put the key in and it's nice and plush on this side but it's sticking out on this side so we can't have it in that position so let's try a different one 
mm, almost splashed but it's still sticking out a little bit you don't want it sticking out at all so that's that, that's still sticking out too much and then you try basically you just try all the positions and there there is pin there is a pin for uh, for each uh, you know that you always get an adequate number of uh, as an adequate number of uh, an adequate selection of pins for uh, for each cylinder and key so you can always find the perfect match and um, you can always you, you don't I mean I think three pins is not really enough but you can you can have up to five four I think would be an ideal number because the previous cylinder I did um, had five and this one only has three and they, they, there's two slots at the bottom as well that's our match so that's a perfect match you see it's nice and plush on both ends now I'm just gonna keep on trying that's it that's that one and there's just one more perfect so it's nice and flush and then we can put it back together. So remember what I said about the spring. So as you as you put it back in. It, as you can see the spring has like kind of it's kind of bent so it hooks properly on there and make sure you hold it as well so it doesn't jump out and you lose it somewhere that's it and put this back on there And then the pin, I just use. So that's back on there. And now for this pin, I'll just use these big pliers, push it back in place. And that's it. Now I'll just put some GT80 85 in there. So it's nice and lubricated. Spins freely. And that's it. Job done. There you go. Thank you for watching.